Hello and good evening, family. How are you all doing on this Monday evening? 9.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone in Atlanta, GA. Okay. Are y'all dealing with the coronavirus? Are y'all dealing with it and not being able to go out of the house or go out shopping like you normally do? Or hell, just be out amongst the folks. Okay. I tell you, I don't know what we're doing up here in Atlanta because you have people being told to go home from their jobs because they got exposed to, you know, maybe a colleague or whatnot. And these folks still going to doctor's appointments. They still going out there being amongst people, spreading the germs. And, you know, like I said, they may not have it. Or maybe they have it. It's just not active in their system is what I think. And they ain't following directions. I said, they really want martial law to come into effect. They really want martial law to be in full effect. Okay, they want the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and Marines. Hello, to tell them, be sitting right outside their doorstep saying, get back in that house. You know, why can't people act right? All right, if they tell you to go home, get tested, or get tested, go home, those are the things you do. And if you come up tested, positive, sit your ass down somewhere, take your medication, or get much, much rest, so the rest of us will have a chance, okay? But that was just my rant here and there. My whole thing to the fact is, stay your ass at home, all right? But anyway, let's get on into the story. That my girl Tia Burger put out at Atlanta Black Star. I'm like, girl, where you been, girl? Or where have I been, I should say. Because it seems like your colleague, Chantel Rusher or somebody like that, they keep bringing out selection stories. And I'm like, where you went? You went on vacation, girl. We don't need you to go on vacation, Tia Burger. We need you to be out here giving me salacious stories to talk about in your words. And then I put my narration to it and we make history together. Okay. The family affair has been waiting and wanting and seeing where the hell you been, okay? But I got you. You on my radar again. Uh, Yeah, you put this story out March 14th. You titled it, You Have Changed. Candy Birds fans blast her for not calling out Kenya Moore on starting drama. Now, I'm telling you, she got her last Sunday. Well, she got her last night. Just a little bit. She she got that big toe and stomped it with a nail. She said, uh-uh, don't, don't mess with Cynthia Bailey. She's on our team. We don't want her to exactly become collateral damage. Just like Portia became collateral damage as well as Candy when Phaedra was on the scene, okay? She had to do what she had to do to get where she wanted to go. Even though it put her out the door, we still miss her, okay? We still miss her over here at the Family Affair. Because it seemed like she done teamed up with Kenya. We got Nene on the point guard. Okay. But it seemed like we need to bring Phaedra back. Because we got Portia. She ain't on the bench. She in the game. She riding the game strong. But I don't know if Tanya sounds ready to take over as a Phaedra Pog. You see what I'm saying? Because we need her to be classy. But sometimes we need her to get down in the grunge part and be trash. All right. But I can tell you one thing. Tell, tell you, Sam's ain't no punk. She get up there. She try to tell Kenya in the best possible way without getting off her stage and getting in them streets throwing tomatoes at folk. She said, I ain't finna do that, girl. I'm too cute. I'm too pretty. And I'm too classy. I ain't finna do that, but I'm gonna get your ass straight. That's what she do. And she, you know, plus she got the hood in her. So she had to bring her back and say, uh-uh, we got to get the hood in him. We got to show this sister something. She done lost her damn mind, okay? She one of us, but yet she act like she ain't one of us, okay? But... Yeah, we need we need to start a phage parts phage parts come back. Even if we got to get her a little short mini series of her life, seeing what she going on, what she doing without Apollo, and then she just invite the girls on over, <laughs> and they get they kiki they laugh on uh, on behalf of uh, tricking out. Uh, what's her name? Kenya Moore and um. A collateral damage show. Uh, what is her name? Candy Birds. Okay. We need her to come out of retirement and be back on the Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. So we can see some real drama. I mean, if you really want to give us ratchetity, just poor, poor ratness of showing how a black woman can degrade herself in so many different ways. Hey, Brain Fraser back. And let's get on into the tea. That would be some good tea, coffee, milk, whatever you drink to lighten your load, honey. Okay. That would be good for the soul. All right.
You don't want nobody to get hurt. No personal charges or anything like that. Unless they just want to go on in that ring and box, box it out. Now, I can do that. Put all the protective gear. Then you go on in there with somebody you swear you don't like. You know what I'm saying? On the house, Housewives cast like NeNe and Kenya. Let them go in the ring and let have. You know what I'm saying? Just let them have at each other until they can't swing no more. Same thing with Portia and uh, Candy. Because I know. I know they got some... Uh, some unhidden baggage that they ain't letting out but it's sneaking out here and there because candy keep putting her hands on her mouth to say something sly to Portia all the time when she's trying to hook up with nene trying to go back and her what she said what well, ain't on tv won't be shown on tv but she trying to throw Portia up under the bus and say you know you talk bad about nene you know you said this that and that can't keep your mouth closed. How many times you don't talk about somebody, but ain't nobody said shit? Who have you been talking about behind closed doors? We want to know. Family, if I want to know over him, because we know you ain't cool. We see you, girl. We see you, and you ain't got nothing but devilish ways in you. Okay. But anyway, let's get on and see what my Tia my tea Burger is talking about. Okay. She goes on to say, it seems followers and fans of Candy Burris aren't here for her plan for Team Kenya Moore. Hell no, nah. we sure ain't, we sure ain't, honey. Because I'm still saying, let's just put Nene and Kenya up in that ring and let them have at it, okay? All the team twirls, all the go get on with Nene Lee's. Let her, let her, okay? Old school versus new school. Can you always think she could take down an OG? Can't always be forgetting what an OG mean. Okay, two fake bitches all in the same day. Ah, yeah, you said it because I tell you, them two get on my damn nerve. They really do. Like, they bought that life. Can you do? You strike at her one time, she going to run down the street and call the police. They, they, they tried to assault me. They tried to hit me. I don't know what what, what made them get into that bed. You know, all that kind of shit. They can be like crying and carrying on. I'm like, Where's Portia? Could you please whip Candy behind? Please whip it so they can stop acting like they're about their life. Candy, you know you ain't about that life, girl. Portia, we don't strung you up somewhere. We don't shook you every which way but loose. And then you be sitting up there looking like a fool. Girl, you ain't about that life. You ain't about that life. I need to talk with them Scott sisters because I think they could tell me the true tea. All right, but anyway. I'm sorry about that. Let's get back to the article. I get sidebarred here and there, there and where, and everywhere, Okay. Oh, it says Boris Moore and Cynthia Bailey developed a tight knit friendship on this season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Viewers, however, feel the escape singer needs a uh, new friendship might be clouding her judgment towards Moore's messy ways, which we did see on last night episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta that uh, came on on uh, March 15th. That Sunday, yes, she did. She had to chop Kenya head off and serve it back back to her up on a platter and said, "Get your shit together, okay? This ain't one of the uh, the people that we're against. We fuss Cynthia all day, every day. What the hell are you doing? How many restaurants have you opened with your seller, your bar seller, huh?" And I like that. That was very nice to read. A very nice comeback. That's why I say, Candy, you, you, you be plotting shit. You know what you be doing. But all this shit going to come back in your face. Yes, it is. It going to come back in your face. Because you with the wrong garden tool. You are with the wrong garden tool. All right. And she might even bite you behind your back. You didn't even gonna, you ain't even going to see it coming. Because you wanted her back. You delegated for her to be back. And she back. And only because what? Nene was liking Phaedra. She was cozying up the Phaedra. So now you want to assassinate her because you don't like Phaedra. Girl, please. Anyway, moving on. Back to the article. It says, Burris reviewed Real Housewives of Atlanta Sunday's night episode on her YouTube channel titled Speak on It. Okay, she spoke about the tension between Moore and their co-star Nene Leakes that occurred during the cash trip to Greece. Leakes apparently tried to extend the olive branch to her longtime foe Moore after hearing she was divorcing her husband, Mark Daly. But the former Miss USA wasn't having it. And I was so glad she wasn't having it because I was so glad Nene threw it back at her face got in her ass say that's why ma don't like you boop, 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 boop. that's why he hates you boop, 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 boop. your man don't want you your man don't want you now how do you feel about that 
Now, how do you feel about that? Yes, yeah, she told her, oh, she got up into Kenya's ass, and Kenya couldn't even take it. She could, no, she didn't. She had to say, go back to jail, Nene. <laughs> if I was her, I would say, girl, it'll be a one-way ticket with me taking you with me and me making you my itch. Okay, that's how I would have played it, girl. That's how I would have played it. But you know, I, I ain't Nene. But hey, that's how your girl Del Chanel would have played that one. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, Moore refused to converse with leaks about her marital woes and walked away from the table. She also thanked all of her cast members except for leaks for lending their support during her divorce, which a lot of fans felt was rude. Burris, however, didn't scold Moore for her actions and seemingly tried to empathize with her now see i would have did that move she played on kim fields you remember they were sitting outside trying to do something it was cynthia bailey kenya moore and kim fields and they were saying something kenya was just being too ugly too nasty too rude and she tried to um take kim fields cheer from her honey if i was there, i would have ran over there and said girl let me help you up you're moving a little bit too damn slow and i'm tired of seeing your essence your face your body your presence get away boop, 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 boop. and i would just pull the chair out not to hurt her not for her to fall but i would did that and say mm, then you do that to kim fields girl then you do that to kim fields now how you feel how you feel girl how you feel it ain't too cute when the rabbit got the gun now do it do it that's all folks that's what i would have said that's how i would have played it, but anyway, moving on back to the article, it says Burris also had a few words for leaks after the former Princess Star shaded her on Andy Cohen's. What watch what happens live? Leaks apparently called her a fake ass. Burris reported, suggesting that leaks always tries to play victim. Well, honey, all y'all pretty much fake up there, especially when it comes to your. Uh, what do you call it? Your body parts. Okay. You don't enhance, dehance, enhance, and everything else. So, really, all y'all got to call each other fake, fraudulent, full of fuckery, and full of foolery. Okay. All of y'all can be called that. My four elves. Get into it. Need to make a t shirt and sell them. What do y'all think about that family? What do you think about that? Okay. But moving on. A lot of the fans felt Burris was quick to call out leaks and her other castmates for their actions, but not more. Now tell it like it is. Te- tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. Te- tell it like it is. Yes, honey. Candy don't know nothing about getting into Kenya's ass. Only if it hurts Cynthia's feelings. And I'm like, girl. Does Cynthia remind you of some loved one, some lost loved one that you liked or loved or respected at the time? I don't know. Because Cynthia, I ain't giving her no more passes. She need to stand on her shit. And I mean, at 52, 53, 54 years old, what the hell? What you, when she going to stand in it? When Mike tell her to and she get a, a bold face about herself and she got to do a about face and start cussing everybody out. And then it ain't going to be seen seemingly like it's genuine you remember candy loved herself some phage till phage went the other way when she woke and went over walked and been with nene leaks okay yeah that's just about her ace poon coon you couldn't separate them then it became freaking fret portia and her okay candy like that shit either that's why she don't like nene and that's why she don't like Portia, okay, cause they still got love, but she gonna team up with Kenya of all of all people to get into with. I'm like anybody can take Nene, I mean Kenya down. We got Nene for that, but then if you want Portia to get in line, then again if you want Faze to get in line, hell Tanya can get them, okay. So we ain't worried about Kenya, we ain't worried about Teen Tora. Honey, Teen Tora need to be dismant- dismantled and put back in a box, put a bow on it, and say never to return. Put it to the unfit. The we call the misfit toys out of Wonderland. Put her out there because she's had a fork in it and she's done. Both really her and Nene can go. I'm tired of it. I need new blood. I really need new blood. And I don't know why the hell we still got Ken on the show. I really don't. I mean, I guess the sacrificing of their children, you know, making them be somebody they're not, like Cynthia tried to play a role with little what's her name. Noelle trying to make like she gay still don't believe it I think the w- girl just testing water so she's just playing a role but you know hey maybe it, it looks good in their elite eyes and that's why they keeping uh Cynthia around because of her daughter I can say the same with Candy too she might be playing Riley Burris up I don't know what she would do make her look like a boy uh make her go butch I, you know what I'm saying I, I don't know make her look like a hoe I, I, I don't know it's just really it's too much. But okay, I could see them keeping them on for the elite 
to uh market them display them in uh all kinds of wrongness you know what i'm saying but that's what people do when they look at the almighty dollar and what that dollar can do for them like that's gonna be the only thing to be all it all when everything is said and done it can't stop no virus from ending your life can it corona and mr corona and mrs virus are doing a hell of a job with shutting shit down globally and what are your money what is your money gonna do when you still dying like regular folks, poor folks, hard everyday working folks. What is the money? What is the green really doing? It's pitting pitting you against everybody in the world and turning you deadly evil. That's all. That's all. No claim to fame. Just another person dead to trying to play the game. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, Sorry, Candy, but you have changed. Since Kenya uh, came back on the show and your loyalty seems to only lie with her. Why? 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 I get wild thoughts. Why? 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 That's what Rihanna and the family fell over here want to know. Why, Candy? Why are you teaming up with solely Kenya Moore? You ain't got nobody on your team. Because we ain't even going to count Cynthia. We don't even want Cynthia to stand up and take no applause, okay? We don't even want her to go to the bathroom at this time. We just want her to stand in the corner with a dunce hat on and, and just don't say nothing. We got her mouth taped up and everything, okay? <sighs> But that's what we want to know over here at Family Affair. Why? All the box twins now? Two, alum, two uh, Illuminati dummies? What's what going on? We want to know, girl. We want to know. But anyway, that's out for now. Maybe we'll learn by and by. Okay? It says, another person. In my opinion, you should be able to tell your friends the truth. You and Cynthia is so afraid of Kenya. She got to have some dark secrets for you guys. Or dark secrets on them. Oh, honey. But they might be facing the same devilish um pit okay and i mean the pit of hell okay oh okay, that's what i'm saying they all coming from the pit of hell and all i'm going to hell okay they keep keep acting up like they doing okay keep acting they up selling their souls making themselves look stupid on this program giving us rusticity because that's what is driven driving this world right now nobody want no wholesome stuff don't want nobody want no good stuff because i even try to do informational stuff psas you know motivation stuff all this stuff people don't want that only a few people tune in they like it but they don't want it they don't want it ratchet tree is in so anytime we can get somebody from going too far down the line and let them stay at a minimum so they can come back but once you take the oath that's it that's it once you don't say i'll sign it with the devil and all the do devilish deeds that you gone then you gone ain't no turning back so yeah that's the reason why they can't come back they got to stay with the flock and Kenya's one of those flocks. She's going to do anything for that dollar. So it makes her holler. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says, uh, you really don't see or hear any of the terrible things Kenya do and say to people. Mark knew what kind of woman he had, which is why he treated her as such. Why you treat me so bad? I don't know why, baby. But can you know why Mark treat her so bad? He was a man for hire. And he doing what he got to do. He trying to break the chains that she try to keep him held up and hinged up to. Okay, not in my not in the article, just my sidebar. Okay. You are very quick to call Nene out and say not so nice things about her, but yet you pacify Kenya and all her wrong doing. I'm right there with that comment. Yes I am, because on last night episode they add on the fifteenth. She was even trying to say, girl, why you uh why you doing this stuff? Why are you doing the stuff to Cynthia? Okay. But yeah, we got to get Nene up in the sky. We're going to have dinner at this place called Dinner in the Sky. And then we're going to have her up there just to uh, make fun of her. You know, because yeah, yeah, they were doing all that kiki banter here, here, and all that. Like little mean girls. Like they in high school, elementary somewhere. Oh, I can't stand that shit. I cannot stand that shit. I bet you Candy would like that. Kenya would like that too in school. Just terrorizing folks around now. Mm-hmm. Trying to be the it girl. But anyway, moving from there, going back to the article, it says, It's great that you're a friend to Kenya and you had her back. But you can admit that given all the drama she's stirred up and mess that she's tried to create with other people's relationships, that maybe that maybe it makes sense that some of the ladies may see what you're 
see what she's going through as karma. I mean, nobody likes to attack other people, marriages, or relationships like Kenya. And I do know that because look how she did Apollo and uh, Phaedra. Now, what Apollo was trying to get with her behind closed doors, behind the shadows, behind the bushes. Okay, one thing, whatever. Call them out and leave them alone. But you sitting over there flirting with them, letting them throw you in the pool. You closing up against both of them, but mostly on uh apollo egg and phaedra oh i mean that's just total bullshit then you call them portia hoes bitches doing anything with african men getting their money but you were doing the same thing now weren't you what happened to that rose Royce girl okay that was bought because of the african dude uh-huh uh-huh you remember that girl yeah we all remember it now you're gonna just tr try to play closely up like you some kind of church mouse going around now with the holy spirit in you go girl and you go for marlo you call her a one trick pony you know trying to make like she's this exotic uh high price call person and all this kind of stuff yeah girl yeah look at that um my um well our family member i should say pm p casing okay she be dropping out some nuggets in her re when i want to say review but her commentary that she puts uh in the comment section i gotta read it's very enlightening and the woman's on, on point okay she's on point one of our family members is truly on point every time she get down there and say shit okay read it read it and you'll see what i'm talking about okay that's pm patricia Kaysen. Okay, up in the family. Give her acknowledgement. Okay, we got Marisol around now. She's still twirling around now, tearing up shit too. Leslie Barber dropping down some good uh, advice. Anna, Anna, but now where you at, girl? And then we got about, a, what's her name? It's an AW, Amy WV, something like that. Yeah, she be doing it now. I be watching y'all. I be reading. I be, get, I, hey, I know. I know, okay? We ain't just got no people that want to sit up here and kiki and all this stuff. They be, they be fed up with this shit, too. Making these black women look like harsh realities. You know what I'm saying? God, dog, I can't take it. But anyway. Whew, shall we go back? Yes, we shall. Okay, it said, um, in the past, Burris responded to those who accused her of defending more and her supposed wrongful behavior. It's not one person, but it's a gang of y'all that be saying that I'm just taking up for Kenya. Well, hey, if the masses are speaking, then the person that's in question might need to listen. Candy girl. Okay. Let me just say this. Kenya does not need anyone to take up for her. Yes, she do. Because without the fanfare, Kenya is nothing. You take her shine away from her. You let her act a fool. You don't give her no type of uh playback or how she may have played on you you know how they say go tit for tat if you don't go that tat you just like her talk and then let her finish and then you just go on with another conversation with other people that would hurt the hell out of kenya yes it would it would but when you keep on uh when she keep poking at the bear and the say and you keep giving her something to uh refresh and reattack she got you then Tanini knows all about that. Phaedra knows all about that too. But she can't handle that shit when that shit be thrown back up her, at her. When that shit be put right back in her face. Smudged down. Set up. Ready for the cake up and the bake up. She can't take it. She can't take it. Remember? The producer of the show last night was giving her this question about why she was flipping so much on Cynthia. But she couldn't take what Tanya Sam's head did to her. Honey, she was shook, shook, shook like some... Uh, your best china hitting the flow. You know what I'm saying? Are you shaking some chicken to be floured before it hit the grease in the bag? You know what I'm saying? Can you can handle that shit? They had put her on the spot and she was not ready. She didn't have no comeback for the comeback. You know what I'm saying? That's how you had to hit Kenya real quick, fast, in a hurry. Hard. Lay her out in one bang. Okay? That's what I'm saying. But anyway, going back to the article. It says, uh, she said in a recent YouTube video of hers, for, for one, she is clearly capable of speaking up for herself and standing up for herself. And the other thing, she don't really give a damn what nobody think of, think of her anyway. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. She cares. Everybody, in a little sense of the word of humanity, cares what another person does to them or say about them. If they say they don't, they full of shit. Okay? We all care. Even if it's just a smidgen. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> we just don't give it light. <laughs> we just don't give it light. Okay? But anyway, yeah. Kenya cares. If she didn't care, she wouldn't care about how Mark is making her look out on these streets. And these social media streets. Okay? 
and even in the private streets she don't like how mark is displaying she don't like how nini puts her two cents in on her okay and anybody else that had to say that kenya may deem important okay that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying she keep acting crazy with them producers she gonna find herself without employment okay she gonna find herself without employment of the Bravo franchise, cause they too they too fit to be tied with her. They don't have this shit with Kenya. They wanted something better when they brought her back. They wanted some drama, some salacious news, some stories, and she she gets giving old news to us. They thought they were gonna have a hand in, you know, having Mark on the camera and having more things develop between them that's not so nice and this that and the third. They they gonna be tired of Kenya and they're gonna sew her up for themselves. So this really. Bringing Kenya more back may be a slap in the face for Kenya because she's not looking too pretty right now. And she's not bringing the get back that they thought she was going to bring, be bringing to the show. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, moving on from there. Um, she goes on to say she don't care if y'all go in on her all day. Therefore, she does not need me to take up for her. I'm not taking up for her. Yes, you are can all day, every day because that's what you do. You do, girl. You take up for people. You throw a big boulder out there and then you try to camouflage it like you ain't did shit. You ain't said shit. You don't want to be about shit in that scenario. But yet, you're just like Kenya. You're just a smaller version of her. Okay, but I thank you. I thank you, Tia Burger, for giving me something to talk about. Hopefully, I did justice to your commentary with my little narration spins on it. And the Family Affair also appreciate you because they need something to listen to uh, during this time of uh, being held up. <laughs> <laughs> in our homes and they ain't got really nothing to do and don't know too much about what Co mr corona and mrs virus are doing out there we just know they are twirling like a tornado and they shed shit down and not on uh, a small platform they going global these are international players we dealing with okay they showing up and shed shit down all right but y'all be safe and i'll come back with you for probably another video i don't know i don't know i don't know it just depends on what comes across my media feed okay but y'all be blessed and i'll see y'all next time all right and when we're away from each other can continue to get down in those comments and talk with one another say what you what say you family on this topic i'm going over tonight what say you get down in them comments share and like the videos and definitely subscribe to the channel all right good night